Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Liz here. Yes, it's me. She platinum blonde today, but it's me, okay? So now, uh, before I say anything else, please don't comment for my wig skills, okay? Because I don't wear wigs. I don't know nothing about wigs. So this year um, was the best I could do. So with that being said, she a little mermaid today. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so for... Um, since Halloween is just around the corner and it's one of my favorite seasons It's not even a season. It's a holiday. Um, it's one of my favorite holidays just because you could just like get creative Obviously you could get creative the whole year round, but usually Halloween it's like where everybody just like steps up their game So yeah So with that being said, you know, I put my little skills to the test and I decided to do this little um, mermaid look I had a different wig and I had a pic different picture of how it's going to look but the wig was a different color than my makeup so when I put it on I'm just like yeah that's just it does not look like it like a mermaid and then um, I didn't find my little mermaid um, corset kind of thing so we just went with this. And it's, I mean, it still looks kind of cute, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, I had so much fun creating this. Um, once again, it never turns out the way that I expected it. But I am really happy. And you girl has, like, green eyebrows. Like, help me not. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, if you guys want to know how I created this makeup look, go ahead and just keep watching. Okay, so we are here, um, ignore all this that's going on, just basically covering my, um, acne scar because, hmm, it happened, yeah, alright, great, okay, so for this, we're gonna go ahead and start off with eyebrows, uh, before foundation, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a, I just had the brush, where did I put it? I don't know. Where did I put it? Really? Oh, okay. So right here. Okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a little um, what is it like an eyeliner brush? I think a small like angle brush, and this is from Elf. And I'm gonna go ahead and go with this shade right here, like this little um, what like turquoise color. And I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows. Yeah, so we're using just um, the James Charles palette and the Jaclyn Hill, um, the first palette, okay? And we're just going to go ahead and do eyebrows like we would normally do. So I usually like to just outline my eyebrow first. So now that we're back, we did a foundation because it's a little basic. Oh, you guys don't want to see that. So I used my Maybelline um, and then Fenty Bam together. Um, Conceal, yes. And powder. So, so now um, let's go ahead and do eyes. For this one, we're going to go ahead and go in with the James Charles palette. I'm going to go ahead and grab a fluffy brush. So just any little fluffy brush and we're going to go ahead and go in with this 
light pink shade and we're just going to go ahead and put it um, all over the eye so it's like kind of like our base kind of thing you guys already know okay so now we're going to go ahead and grab a this is i think like a small eyeshadow brush and we're going to go ahead and go on with that little turquoise shade turquoise <laughs> shade that we use for our art the one that we use for our eyebrows so we're just gonna go ahead and grab that and we're gonna go ahead and just put it right here I'm going to grab a smaller blending brush and I'm going to go ahead and go on with this hot pink right here and we're going to go ahead and put it on top of that turquoise color. kind of gonna go it's it's mostly gonna go like more in like the crease we're gonna grab a different brush and we're gonna go ahead and go on with this little purple color right here that is right next to the hot pink and this one we're gonna go ahead and put it in the outer corner here We're going to go with that little purple shade and we're going to go ahead and smoke out the bottom lash. Hot pink shade and smoking that bottom lash as well. To this so I am grabbing the um, my ColourPop X X um, little pony highlighter and it's like the little kind of like iridescent kind of colors um, you guys seen some of my other makeup videos I have used this before and we're gonna go ahead and add it to the lid I'm going to grab a small detailed brush and I'm going to go ahead and go in the corner with this shade. We're going to bring it to the lash line, adding it as close as I can. So let's go ahead and just do this eye and we'll be back so we are back we um did a little bit of contouring to the face because we gonna snatch the nose because it has to look skinny so i did that you know contour as normal and i added blush which i actually added a little bit too much blush than i <laughs> wanted to but you know it is what it is this time i did use two uh different blushes so i use um this maybelline i said maybelline uh milani this is like a coral um blush 
it's in coral cave and then i use my regular um blush the milani one in the dulce pink so that's normal so let's go ahead and get on the fun part which is the scales so you guys already know i have little stencils so that is basically what i use um, any little stencil that you like actually works. So I just got a little um, stencil squared. I cut out the edges so it doesn't have like those hard edges. And it looks like little scales. So that works. I've seen people do um, with fishnets. Um, they put it on and like they stamp it on, which I think works fine. But this is what I have. So that is what we're going to use. Now, to create the color, I have um, this Wet n Wild um, Corrector Palette, which that's what I was using earlier. I was using this too to cover up a little bit of um, the acne scars. I am using just the purple one, so I'm just grabbing a flat brush and I'm just like packing it on. So let me go ahead and show you. So I just want, which is going to be like this part right here with scales. So I think right there should be good. Oh, where'd it go? So grabbing that little flat brush and just going in with that little purple shade and just tapping it in there and it doesn't really matter how much you put honestly I just want them now the second thing that I did I once again I grabbed the ColourPop highlighter the pony one and I just grabbed it with my finger and just tapped it in there for it to have like that little holographic you know effect and then that's pretty much it so you just basically apply the scales wherever you want to apply them and baby girl you are ready to go look at that Ooh, when the light hits that sh the highlighter though so cute and then you just basically apply them wherever you want to apply them and you're just you're just ready you just go for it so once we're done with that if you think we're done we're not because you guys already know I love me some highlight so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Anastasia highlighter and I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight you know away just as normal adding a little bit to that as well you know don't forget because you already know so that's that now let's go ahead and put on the lashes on and we'll come back that was the final look i did add um i ended up adding little rhinestones with which this ones i actually got in a nail kit but any little rhinestones that you could find i just wanted to do like a little crownish moment there so I just grabbed those and I just glue them with eyelash glue because I have said it before, I tend to be allergic to glues. So I know I'm not allergic to that one. So works fine. So obviously you could just go with whatever you want. Add, you know, rhinestones anywhere. Add more highlight. Add glitter. You could just go all out. Whatever you want to do. And then for lipstick, I went with the ColourPop lipsticks, and this one in, is in Stoke Crazy, which is one of my lipsticks. And I think that's basically everything else that I added um, after I just like put on my lashes, and yeah. 
All right, guys, so this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think about my little mermaid look. And if you guys liked it and if you guys would recreate it, just let me know. Any little tips and tricks, I will definitely take because your girl needs it. You already know. So thank you guys so much for watching. Now don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. You guys are amazing. I'll see you guys later.